What's up YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to talk about some Japanese Pokemon card booster boxes and the recession that they're all having. So uh, you guys can see that uh, my background is a little different because I'm going to do a bit of traveling but I will continue to make video and thank you for all your support. There are more and more members joining and supporting me. So uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, and also support me by joining my membership program. All right, so let's get into it. So I know that 151 has had multiple waves of reprint. I know I've talked about Lost Abyss. I've been talking about Incandescent Arcana, as well as things such as, you know, Paradigm Trigger. All those sets have been dropping in price. And, and not to mention things such as, you know, Black Flame, Order of Black Flame um, and all the newer sets, you know, they are pretty much sitting way below MSRP and it is very accessible on the Japanese Pokemon Center website at MSRP. Now, what is interesting is this it's not only these cards, these booster box that have dropped in price. What actually dropped a lot in price, if you guys haven't been watching, are the older Japanese booster box. I'm talking about the Sun and Moon era. Japanese booster box. I've been looking at, um, actually I've been selling some cards and I realized that, you know, some of the auction price are not as high as it used to. And there are a le lot less people bidding on the item. So, you know, that got me to thinking, what is happening to the other Japanese booster boxes? Well, I can tell you they all recede back around 10, 15% or so and you know they are still slowly creeping downwards which set am i talking about i'm talking about sets such as tag boat so tag boat three months ago was doing really well which is the team up version of the japanese side and you know it was selling for around 600 650 680 us dollar repuja box i was very very tempted to sell mine but i was thinking hmm you know what i actually don't have a lot of it so i might just sit and wait and uh, as I sat and wait, uh, the price also um, sat down with me. So uh, it started dropping and now it's sitting at around that 480, close to 500 price range. And we see this not just for tag pole, but things such as very popular sets such as the tag team all-star, as well as things such as Dream League. They have actually all fallen in price. They have fallen around 10, 15% back in price. Now the question is why? Well, I actually don't know why, but I can hypothesize as to what is happening. Now, some of you guys might think that, hey, you know, people are just losing interest in Japanese cards. The demand for Japanese cards has, or is dropping. But I really don't think it's the case. It's not to do with the demand, but rather the supply side of things. A lot of people are still, I mean, these sets are old and, you know, the demand is there. People always wanted to buy up these sets. But when, why, why, why suddenly there are just so much, so many of these booster box available? And what I believe, what I believe is that people are cashing out. A lot of people decided not to hold on to Pokemon cards anymore, at least not those booster box. Some willingly quit Pokemon cards. I mean, I'm talking about those investor guys, not the real diehard collector, not those diamond hands, you know. They just want to re release and let go and move on to other things. I mean, the Japanese economy is not doing so well, especially when everything is becoming so much more expensive as its currency continue to depreciate. So what I do think is that a lot of Japanese sellers, the Japanese sellers are selling it in order to cash out, to gain back some cash because to be very honest, they simply don't have the money to buy new sets. I mean, new sets are coming. You know, people are saying that, hey, the Team Rocket set is going to be good. Terrestrial Festival is going to be good. You know, everything, you know, second half of 2024 is going to be good. Where are they going to get the money? So this is what I think. And, and, and I think that, you know, because they can't find the money, they need some money. And that's why a lot of them are selling a lot of these products does that mean that these products will crash forever and you guys should sell it now no i think it is very very good you know time and time you know we see products being flushed out and because people need money people will fomo they flush it out and then later on when it climb back up again there's just less and less of these seal products so i do believe that if you don't need money right now don't sell 
your products just like they are. Now, those are the Japanese seller. What about the US seller? I think everyone is trying to anticipate for the later half of the year. And I think that because they don't see these upcoming two of three sets doing so well, they're trying to catch out when the market is high because we are seeing a drop. Like I said, I made a prediction in my previous video. In the next three to six months, a lot of products will tank and it will drop in price. And because of that, you know, it, it is pretty much the best time to sell out if you actually want a bunch of cash later on in the second half of the year in order to buy some of these sets and yeah that's pretty much what i think is happening but uh do keep an eye on the japanese booster box seal products um market because i do think that you know there is still some room for it to drop and then it will it will drop to a point where people think that hey you know it's uh, you know i would not sell it anymore it will just flush that out and things should climb again so um yeah just stay tuned watch the market and uh Hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Collect Pokemon. Bye-bye.